hospital charges can be mind-boggling in their complexity. Today, I'm gonna make it a lot easier by comparing it to something you're very familiar with, and that is staying at a hotel. All right, let's do it. Welcome back to Citizen Surgeon. My name's Dr. Eric Pearson, and today we're gonna break down hospital charges. All right, I was in the clinic the other week, and one of my patients, actually it was her sister, looked at me after I had examined the child and, and said, man, you should have seen the bill. And it brought back memories when my own kids were in the hospital, and these hospital charges can be just massive, all right? And so I thought I would break it down and make it a little bit easier today by comparing it to hotels. So I am sure you've stayed in a hotel. And what are the different costs of staying in a hotel. Well, first you got the rack rate. Okay, so this is the non-negotiated rate. That's if you just walked in the hotel, you said, I need a uh, two queen beds room, just a uh, basic no view, just I need it tonight, all right? Well, they're gonna give you the rack rate, okay? So no discounts on that rate. Now you can avoid the rack rate by perhaps booking early or booking on a travel site, or with a travel agent, or some sort of discounted program, perhaps a frequent traveler program, and that's called a negotiated rate. And those negotiated rates are typically much, much less than that rack rate. And now we gotta think about additional costs. So if you've ever stayed in a hotel, you know all about these additional costs. So. There might be an additional cost for parking. There might be a resort fee every day for using the gym or using the pool. There might be charges for room service or charges for mini bar items. So all these come under additional costs. And finally, we have to think about hidden fees, all right? So if you've ever stayed in a hotel, you've looked at the bill and you've seen these hidden fees. So that could be taxes, local taxes, city taxes. There could be fuel or energy surcharges. So there are these hidden fees that get added to the bill causing that final price to go up. All right, so we've talked all about hotels. Well, how does this compare to hospital charges? Well, all hospitals have a charge master sheet, or I should say most hospitals have a charge master which basically lists every cost or every charge for services provided, medications provided, procedures provided in the hospital, all right? So you can think about those charges like the unnegotiated rack rate in a hotel, all right? And they are often way inflated compared to the negotiated rate or the actual cost of providing that service. So insurance companies or government programs like Medicare or Medicaid aren't gonna pay those charge master charges, okay? They're gonna pay a negotiated rate. So that negotiated rate is decided on by individual insurance companies or these government programs, and that is much lower than the charge master sheet. All right, now, and that is much like that negotiated hotel rate. If you went on Travargo or Expedia or Priceline or you had a travel agent, they're gonna get much lower rate than that rack rate in the hotel. So now we can get to those additional costs. Well, just like a hotel, hospitals and insurance companies have additional costs as well. Now, how do we see those additional costs? We see those additional costs as patient co-pays or deductibles or a co-insurance plan in addition to the primary plan. All right, and that's just like those additional costs at the hotel in a resort fee or parking or room service or the mini bar, all right? And now, how about those hidden costs? Well, hidden costs, similar to the hotel, can be additional costs for medications or services or other events during a hospital stay. Hospital charges are really complex to think about and they can be massive numbers. And I thought an easy way to think about it was comparing them to hotels. So you have that rack rate, just like the charge master sheet for costs and services in the hospital. You have the negotiated rate that you get at Travago, Expedia, Priceline, or travel agent. That's just like the negotiated rate that insurance companies and government programs get with the hospital. We have additional costs and of course, those hidden fees. Now, are there laws or are there bills that help 
protect patients from surprise medical bills or increasing transparency for hospital bills? Yes, there are. So there are both federal and state laws to help protect patients and encourage transparency. So the hospital price transparency rule in 2021, and that required hospitals to publish their standard charges as well as their negotiated rates with insurers. The No Surprises Act in 2020 helped protect patients from surprise medical bills from out-of-network providers. There are also agencies that help protect patients and encourage transparency. So the Center for Medicaid and Medicare Services and the Department of Labor help force the hospital price transparency rule and encourage transparency for employer-sponsored health plans. To help give you a little bit more information, I'm gonna put some great references in the description below so you can get more comfortable with understanding how hospital charges are created and what your rights are as a patient when it comes to transparency and prices. All right, I hope you enjoyed that today. If you did, give it a like, give it a share, leave a comment below. Is there another way that you think about hospital charges and how you can make them make a little bit more sense? If you haven't subscribed to the channel, give it a subscribe that lets me know that I'm providing value. As always, stay safe, study hard. I'll see you next time.